Hello friends, welcome to the part 6 of this tutorial series. In the previous part, we installed and configured the type ORM package and uh, we imported the module in our app module and configured it with the various options as you can see on the screen. So in this part, we will be creating our first entity and we will be also creating the first table in our database with the help of type ORM and it's a code first approach. So let's do that quickly. Let me close the various other files. So what I did, I simply removed the constructor from the app controller and removed that default function from the app service because we will never be using those in our project. And let me close these files, all of them. So the first thing we need to do is work on the post entity. Okay, so we need to think what all uh, properties a post should have. So the first thing it requires is a with an ID and that will be of type number. Next thing it needs is a title of type string, then the content of type string. So these are the uh, two major or three major properties that I want my post to have. Also, it should have a slug field. It will again be a string type. And then it will also will have a category, the author and all those stuff. But since right now, we don't have the other resources created for the categories and the author um, properties. So I'll leave those and i mean I'll, I'll not define those as of today uh the other thing i need is the creation date so created on this will be of type date and also a uh, d should be in capital i'm sorry and the other one is the modified date modified on okay of type date so date is a default or native type available available in JavaScript. Okay. So also it should have a main image URL, and this will be of type string because it will only store the path to the main image and not the actual file here. Okay. Perfect. But this is still a class. This is not an entity as of now because we are not telling nestjs to make it an entity and the way we do it is using a decorator so the decorator is at the rate entity and this should be imported from the type orm package as you can see here on the top so once you do that then we have to tell and uh Type ORM or NetsJS, which of these will be uh, placed in a table? I mean, which of these properties should be placed as columns in the table? So the first one, uh, the, the, the major thing you need or the primary thing is the primary key or the primary column. So I'll mark my ID as the primary generated column that will be auto incremented on every new entry. So the rest of them should be my columns. I'll decorate them with the add the rate column decorator. All of them. Okay. Because I want my database to have all these properties in the, in the form of columns. All right. Now, since uh, these are dates, okay. So I need to tell mongodb that these are special properties and they have some special types so that it can be uh, properly created i mean these fields will be appropriately created in the mysql database otherwise this the created on and modified on might have some uh, weird uh, data type so let's define that and we can define it using under the columns uh, we have to provide some options okay 
so let's say for created on i want the type okay we can define the type here as timestamp okay and i'll also give it a default value okay so i'll use the arrow function to give it a default value and i can give it a default value of uh current underscore time stamp so this is a function which automatically gives you the current time time stamp all right current underscore time stamp now I'll use the same uh value for the modified on a uh, property as well so now even if now if we save the change uh, save the file and check our terminal we'll see, we'll see there are no errors okay this is good but if i go to my database viewer and refresh this okay i don't see any tables here see the post table is still not present why is that because my type orm doesn't know about this entity yet and i can also give it a name here i'll name it posts okay, in in plural form and to tell type orm to use this entity and create the corresponding table and columns in the database what we have to do we have to go to the post module here and import the type orm package here uh, the type or a module for feature here okay under the imports array and this expects entities so i'll simply go to my post entity make sure you choose the correct path should, it should come from the source post entities folder okay once you do this okay and go to file save all so your terminal should refresh and it should not have any errors and now if you check your table hit refresh you have this post table automatically created for you and if you right click and see view uh, data the data is empty but now you have all these columns and see id title content slug these are all all var chars and the created on is a timestamp modified on is a timestamp and this is also a watcher and if you look at the first one this is the int okay so the int is the auto increment and the primary key okay so you see the primary pri uh, value has been set for the id column and that is what exactly what we wanted the rest of the fields are var charts the string ones and okay so this is the default uh value see current timestamp it's a sql function which automatically enters the timestamp so i'll show you how it does so if i go here and create a dummy entry although i said i will not be creating or modifying the table from the dbuer application but for demo demonstration purposes i'm doing it so let's say test test slug is test okay and I, i'll i'll not touch the created on and you see this is already filled with the current timestamp uh macro you can see if i if i save the changes this is automatically resolved to the current system time you see mine is 507 in the evening so it's 50659 for both all right this is how it works so now i'll simply go and uh delete this entry okay perfect so we have the setup done and our type orm is able to communicate with our database it's able to create new tables columns all those stuff right so in the next video we will create the 
uh, other two resources that we require the the first one is the category and the other one is the uh auth module or the auth resource which will be related to the users okay so till then uh if you have any comments or suggestions please leave those in the comment section below and don't hit don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and i will see you in the next video till then take care and happy learning bye bye